Good morning, dear friends. We are here together for another morning prayer. My name is Shane Martin. Welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And to start our days, we recommend that we pray. In the Gospel according to Spiritism, the last two chapters will teach you the importance of the prayer and how to pray and examples of how to pray. But one of the things that spirits will teach us is that one of the duties of the incarnate being is to pray first thing in the morning. So that's what we're going to do today. I hope you can join me. But before we do, we're going to read you a message from the book, The Way, The Truth, and The Life, through the medium, Francisco Candido Xavier, by the Spirit, Emmanuel. And this is message six, titled Effort and Prayer. Emmanuel says, and sending the crowd away, that's a Bible quote, and sending the crowd away, he went up to the mountain, away from the others in order to pray. And then when the evening came, he was there alone. That can be found in Matthew 14, 23. Now Emmanuel says, from time to time, religious groups appear that preach completely withdrawal from human struggles in order to pursue the work of prayer. In this particular, however, the master continues to be the fount of living construction. Work and prayer were two characteristics of his divine activity. Jesus did not keep himself isolated from people in order to remain in full contemplation of the divine realities that illuminated his soul. But he was able to cultivate prayer in all of its heavenly loftiness nevertheless. When he sent the crowd away after having finished his work for the day, he set aside some time to meditate by himself, communing with the Father in solitary, sublime prayer. All who are on the earth are there for the purpose of reaching a higher level of evolution by means of the work they have been called to do. And through prayer, they receive indispensable help from God for the sanctification of their task. Work and prayer complement each other in every spiritual activity. Those who do nothing but work without method or rest will end up in despair, in the dreadful dryness of heart. Those who do nothing but spend all their time in their knees will be in danger of succumbing to inertia and idleness. Prayer illuminates work, and work is like a book of light for the spiritualized life. Mind your duties because that is why you are in the world. But never forget that mountain located in the highest sentiment so that you may pray, quote, away from the others, unquote, as the Lord used to do. Isn't that a beautiful message? So I'm going to invite you for a prayer now. We always recommend you have water with you if you'd like the spirits to magnetize it and you can drink it throughout the day. Then we infuse it with molecules that are good for our physical and spiritual health. Now we nourish our souls with prayer as Emmanuel reminds us and we'll pray together. Close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so and repeat the words of the prayer in your thoughts as we pray. Shall we? Dear Mother, Father God, thank you for the blessed day we receive today, for the blessed opportunity of being alive in this reincarnation. We thank you for our physical bodies. They allow us to fulfill our duties in this lifetime. Today we pray that we are able to feel your love and your kindness all around us in this universe. We pray that our hearts are open to absorb the richness of life, the beauty that surrounds us and the blessings we have, 
the blessings we receive in everyday life in both realms of our lives, all the visible and invisible hands that help us during this lifetime. We thank them for their love and for their de dedication to us. We pray that we are able to fulfill our duties, that we are able to work, to help others, that we are able to spend time meditating, to receive your strength and your inspiration and consolations for times of difficulties. This morning we pray for guidance and for protection. We pray for inspiration so that we remain mindful, prayerful, that we are able to connect with the good spirits so that our thoughts are in line with our divine laws and that our actions allow us to fulfill your will, dear God, for us in this lifetime. We pray that we are able to be the light in someone's life today, that we are able to serve our fellow beings, that we are able to pray for them, we are able to inspire and console those who suffer, and that the good spirits all around us find in us an open vessel of work and service, that they may use us to help all of those who who we come in touch with. Dear God, we pray for your protection, for your guidance and inspiration for us to fulfill our duties today. And so be it. Dear friends, thank you for joining me on this morning prayer. I hope your day is full of light, joy, to have work and duties. And until next time, God willing, I wish you many, many blessings.